Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. All right. <laughs> oh wow, those cards are really speaking up here. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Let's see what we have going on here. Oh, justice is coming in. Maybe somebody might be experiencing some karma. Let's see. Okay. Looks like somebody wants to reconcile here, but they're unable to come forward. They're being held back here. Possibly they are married. Hmm. We have the page of pentacles in reverse, so they may be pessimistic about what's going on in the world. They may feel like something's unfair or getting balanced they may be experiencing that karma let's see here what else do we have for Taurus we have the page of wands so this is somebody that's looking for some good news here or some good news is coming in somebody is seizing the moment and coming forward maybe to fight for someone here or just fight. <laughs> Let's see. They're wearing their armor. Okay, yeah, this has to do with the reconciliation here. With the Five of Wands in reverse. So I'm kind of feeling like, yeah, this is somebody that. Oh, okay. Let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So you, this may be somebody that started a business here and is doing uh, financially successful. This person is watching this person. So maybe this person has a social media account. Um, maybe they're watching on social media. It could be that they have their own channel or platform. And it looks like they're having sleepless nights. Uh, spirit could be uh, haunting this person with images of you or trying to guide them to you or they're meant to come forward. But I feel like this marriage card, this could be spiritual here. Now, reconciliation here the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse and there's no good news here this is this might be um, I want to say emotional trauma so somebody maybe needed to heal maybe when this person wanted to reconcile with you if you are this Queen of Pentacles maybe you were going through a hardship Maybe you were getting bad news. Maybe things weren't going in your favor. Maybe you were trying to get a business started and it wasn't progressing like you wanted. Maybe you were being held back with the chariot. Yeah, uh, you're definitely being held back with the two of wands in reverse. And with the knight of swords in reverse, somebody was being maybe impulsive. What's the... Um, Hierophant here. Mm. They may have given a couple of to someone else. Maybe ask them to marry them. This could be you. What is this? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a cup of love here to somebody. Hmm. What is this? Somebody was being pessimistic. Okay, let's see. What is this? page of pentacles here what's the page of pentacles yeah somebody was still a wounded warrior here they needed to heal i feel yeah they they maybe needed to get divorced or they were going through a divorce here because now we have the hierophant in reverse so somebody was trying to heal something here going through a divorce Somebody's gaining, getting karma here though. What is this about? What is the justice here? Yeah, somebody's recovering from this, from this um, heartbreak and divorce here. There's the balancing the scales here. Somebody's trying to get balanced. 
There's good news here. What is the news? Or what is this person? Page of Wands. Yeah, they don't want to miss an opportunity here. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in their favor. Okay, that's why they're seizing the moment here. Oh, <laughs> we have the Empress in reverse. She could be sad about something here. Why is the Empress in reverse? Queen of Wands. Okay, so she may know about this marriage. Maybe this person was trying to offer something to you while they were still married. And maybe this Empress kind of was picking up on this Queen of Wands here. This other feminine energy here. But it looks like they got divorced or maybe you were going through a divorce if you're this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe they thought you were codependent. Maybe they chose someone else over you. Hmm. There is a reconciliation here. Somebody's trying to adapt to something. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, somebody made a bad judgment call. They were overburdened and they did not get a victory like they hoped to. We have the Queen of Pentacles now getting this success. And this person is watching. I feel like maybe this Queen of Wands is codependent here. This could have been... I feel like this person maybe got news and felt that they were going to have some type of fortune and didn't want to miss out on it. It had to do, but this Queen of Wands, maybe they rushed forward here and this Queen of Wands is maybe codependent. And it looks like <laughs> they may have reconciled with somebody, made a bad judgment call and did not get a victory out of this. And now they are watching this Queen of Pentacles now in the upright doing financial success here and they are busy watching them yeah they have love here the two of cups here and they do not want to wait with the three of wands in reverse i feel like they're um wanting to they don't want to wait for something to come in here ace of wands in reverse I'm kind of feeling with that that there may be a lack of direction on what to do or maybe kind of being delayed about this. Why is there a delay here? Mm. <laughs> Somebody didn't stand up for what they believed in here. And there may be a child with a third party here could be this other person that was codependent is saying that they are pregnant yeah this person is not available yet they are with someone else right now and they're not able to come forward and I'm feeling this is haunting them this is not something they're enjoying this is something they may be going through they may have divorced somebody here, recovered from that, going through karma, and decided there was some news about somebody here, someone else that they went towards. And now it looks like they realize it was not the right decision. They may have had a lot of love for this Queen of Pentacles here, and it might have been because this Queen of Pentacles wasn't doing well financially, and that may have been when that Queen of Pentacles needed this person the most and they pretty much ghosted her or abandoned her and they may have offered a cup while they were still married and that could have been what this queen of pentacles picked up on she could be a earth sign could be taurus if you are this queen of pentacles yeah, I don't feel like you're even thinking about this person if you're this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. Let's get nine cards. Ooh, yeah, now this Queen of Pentacles has great fortune. 
Wow, and that is the first card out. I don't know if you can see it. And it's falling on that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So she was destined, I'm feeling, to. Um, this is wish fulfillment with number eight. This is action resolution. She was figuring something out when it came to her work, toil and labor. So she worked hard through this. Yeah, she's very mature. I feel like she was looking at things in a very um, mature way. I, I feel like it very perceptive, maybe empathic here. Uh, this is somebody that is very cooperative and wants to live in harmony. Yeah, there's a journey here. This person may have to journey, but this 10 is here and that is that ending and then we have a child card here so i'm feeling that karma is coming in with a child card they may have been kind of immature possibly here courthouse yeah there there's definitely some something going on here some news about a courthouse possibly they're seizing the moment that this codependent queen of wands here mm, feeling there was going to get some unexpected income maybe they even married this person they made a bad judgment call here yeah they they want to change but they haven't ended this cycle out with the coffin in reverse so they are still with this person. This person may even be saying that they're pregnant. They didn't have boundaries up. There's no passion for this person. And they don't want to wait to come forward to this queen of pentacles. And has love for this person. Wants to partner up with them. Let's see. Why is the two of cups here? Man, female in reverse. So wanting to ditch this person they're with. Okay, let's see. <laughs> so why is the two of cups here? Yeah, they're not even thinking about this main female. All they can think about is you. They are having no sleep because that's all they can think about. They're having karma right now when it comes to the Two of Cups. They don't have love for somebody here and they feel like a fool. Queen of Cups. This person might be very emotionally draining to this person. The moon and it's in reverse. Something is coming to light here. They are going to do the hermit. They're going to isolate and heal here. They may realize they need to heal before they can come forward on this journey. They are at a crossroads on what to do. Somebody here may even try to have revenge on something here. Malicious. When it comes to the end all be all, the family, the family wealth, the family abundance, the ten of cups. This is happiness so much happiness it's like this person does not want this other person to be happy and this i feel like this i feel like i'm talking to a masculine uh taurus that they have a different percept perception about this feminine that's draining them yeah they're looking at the future here and the death card is here they're starting to use their intuition with the high priestess here i feel like they realize this person will never cooperate with them this person won't work for them and they have lots of options here but they have a lot of passion for somebody a lot of love for somebody the world card in reverse so they do not want to close out the cycle i feel with this other woman this queen of pentacles they may feel still like a wounded warrior. They may even feel this Queen of Pentacles maybe feel like 
they were um, stabbed in the back with the Ten of Swords here, betrayed because of this person not ending out something. Yeah, it, this person maybe didn't learn their lesson. And I feel like they're starting to realize it now. They want to invest in this Queen of Pentacles and wants to tell the truth. King of Cups. Maybe kind of emotionally manipulative. <laughs> Um, and then is being patient and there is another masculine here a king of pentacles so the counterpart but he's also in reverse and he's not very good with his money or he's really obsessed with this queen of pentacles and there's shady ass behavior here and feeling like they're out in the cold maybe dealing with karma maybe loss of money here they're not able to manifest here. When we have the emperor in reverse, so he's angry as well, possibly because there's a lot of competition here. Wanting to give equal give and take here, feeling overburdened and exhausted. The knight of wands in reverse, so they may be held back. They may not be able to come forward here, you know? Um, they may be kind of superficial here, but they want to come forward, but this isn't going to work. I don't feel like you're going to deal with this person. Yeah, there it could be about revenge here. They don't want you to walk away. It may be about greed. But they do not get a victory with the Six of Wands in reverse. And then there's lovers. I feel like you get a choice in love. And then we have the King of Swords here. So there's a lot of competition for this Queen of Pentacles. They see her as very happy-go-lucky kind of, yeah, wish fulfillment here with the star. She could be on a platform here. We have Three of Swords. And then the Three of Wands in reverse. So... Somebody may have broken her heart in the past. I don't feel like she waited around um, when she realized she was being juggled. Yeah, she's become the empress here. And I see there's a cup of love. Somebody that maybe cheated on her and she is taking the time to recover. And we have the king of wands in the upright. So this may be her person. This King of Wands is sad about something, crying over spilt milk, wants to bring in an offer, maybe doesn't want this Queen of Pentacles to walk away. Nine of Cups in reverse. So may not be satisfied um, right now, maybe he has family wealth. And feels like he doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity here. With the Page of Cups in reverse. I kind of feel like this is um, somebody that's emotionally vulnerable. That wants to be vulnerable with you. They may be experiencing some karma here with the Wheel of Fortune and anxiety here. They may not have family around them or don't want a family. They're not showing a lot of courage here when it comes to you. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like they're unavailable. They may be with somebody here. They want freedom from somebody. This might be a new person. And then the Seven of Wands in reverse. So they may need to heal something because I feel like they're not willing to stand up and have boundaries here. 
the seven of wands in reverse. It's almost like um, they're not trusting themselves, like they're doubting themselves or they're maybe a little insecure here. And it is showing that somebody is unavailable here. What did we have on the bottom of the deck? Family room. So hmm, I wonder what the family has to say about this. Mm, they may not want this courtship. The community may see this person as a false person. Gift is in reverse and house. And bad health is in reverse and concern yeah so I feel like not everybody in this person's family group or friend group maybe they see these people as family um, maybe doesn't approve of this union but it's not up to them that's the thing if they really love you and they're their family, they're going to support you no matter who you love. Whether they like them or not, it's not up to them to decide. It's up to you. You have to follow your own heart. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. Now, this may all be to do with money. So let us get the romance angels here. That's a great fortune here. Ooh, we got a lot there. Sorry, spirit. I'm just going to throw those back in. Keep an open mind. Okay. <laughs> your soulmate may differ from your usual type. What's the toil and labor? Honeymoon. Okay. Wow. <laughs> What's the mature woman? This could be the one. So if you are a masculine, this mature woman, this queen of pentacles could be the one. What's the journey here? Oh, that's a lot. What's the journey here, please, spirit? <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Okay. What's the child about? Attraction. This person may make this person feel young at heart again, like really um, f have a lot of fun with this person. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. What's the unexpected? Ah, yes. Love yourself first. And that's landing on some codependency here. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And we saw this here with the seven of wands, not standing up for themselves, not having boundaries. So having that self-love, um, getting rid of that self-doubt, right? Believing in themselves for what they're seeing. Stay optimistic here about your love life. And we have thoughts in reverse, getting to know each other. Okay. Oh, now I see why this is here. This may have been a past life relationship. Now, this may be a lot of lifetimes before that you are meant to come together. It could be this person here may have done this before. Even in this lifetime, tried to keep you from each other. Let's see, there's a journey card here. So I want to know, maybe you're supposed to do something together here. What do we have for them? Justice. Okay. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So it might be in the justice system. Wow. Okay. Nice. Maybe a lawyer or... Ooh, trust. Okay. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide you to your career path. So you may have, um, maybe free to choose which field you want to be in. And then we have healer here. You have a spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. And I'll get one more, please, spirits. One more here. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> Just one more, please, Spirit. Thank you. 
Ooh, spiritual teacher and a healer here and trust. And then this may be some type of justice you're getting. Wow. So you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. And then we have career change. So you might decide to change careers here. You might go into um, helping. Maybe you are psychic and maybe you help out with the police to help bring lost souls home to where they belong. Maybe you um, find out where their bodies are or connect with your past over loved ones to help find people that maybe are have been taken or and still alive. They could still be alive or it could be missing persons. It could be just about anything in the justice field here. You may be able to heal these people as well and teach them to trust their instincts and their intuition. Maybe they got duped by getting taken and you help them believe in their senses where danger and maybe this isn't a good idea that I'm doing this or tapping into some type of feelings here. You may end up changing your career though, depending on what you decide to get into. And I feel like it's free will here. It can be anything you want it to be. I don't feel like spirits limiting you to any specific field. Let's do my cards here. Oh, we got palm tree, stability, security. Whatever you end up getting into is going to be um, stable, I'm feeling here. Let's see, what is the keep an open mind? This one wants to come. Magnetize yourself, that law of attraction. We got honeymoon. I am so in love with you. Love your soulmate. Oh, <laughs> and it, what is this can be the one here? What is this could be the one? You are my blessing. I wished for love. And I chose wrong. Didn't I say they chose wrong here somewhere? <laughs> yeah, the bad judgment call. They didn't get a, um, they didn't get a victory here. Yeah, bad judgment call here. So you may have been their blessing if you were this queen of pentacles. You were their blessing and they chose someone else over you. It is safe for you to love here. Crisis of commitment has sacrifices. And I feel like if you're planning on getting into a relationship here, you may have to sacrifice certain things to compromise in, um, to come together as a common uh, spot with this person. I feel like if they aren't on board with what you do for a living, this isn't the one you're going to stay with. And I feel like this person is fine with this. Your someone has hidden emotions for you. <laughs> uh, there is love here and that they don't really show that anywhere until the end here. What is this? Give your relationship a chance. What does this give your relationship a chance here? Oh, did one flip over? Yes. Oh, <laughs> this says true love is coming. Oh, okay. And then we have love yourself first. That's that self love. I feel like there was some maybe insecurities here. There is something you are meant to see and it's on this love yourself first here and perhaps that codependency is something you weren't seeing in the past. What's the stay optimistic about your love life? I feel like I'm now talking to a masculine here. This masculine is having hidden emotions for this queen of pentacles. True love is coming and I feel like it's that queen of pentacles. There's something you're meant to see about this Queen of Wands that maybe you chose over this Queen of Pentacles. Stay optimistic about your love life. 
You are the first millionaire of your family. Wow. So perhaps I'm kind of feeling um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And this, this is something that needs to change. This needs to close out. You have to walk away from this person before you come calling on this other person. And there may have been a delay here when it comes to coming forward with your Queen of Pentacles. And that delay may have been a child. Maybe somebody said this third party, um, this other woman here, that maybe this masculine chose over this Queen of Pentacles is now claiming to be pregnant with their child. And this could throw a bit of a monkey wrench. I don't know if this masculine is going to stay because of that. <laughs> be authentic, be you, take off the mask. And I feel like getting to know each other, and I feel like this is... This is someone you're going to feel comfortable being around, Taurus, okay? Um, this is going to be someone you can be yourself around. And what about this uh, child card? What about this third party, party's child scenario here? Okay, I can do two. That's fine. We have... Oh, my God. I can't make this up. Pregnant, you or someone else, third party. And I, I'm not kidding. That is what it actually says on there. Ah, it's not very good here because the light's too bright. <laughs> you can't see it to read it. Ah, pregnant, you or someone else, third party. Release limited beliefs that may be holding you back. And I feel like you can... You might tell this person, well, we'll co-parent, but I'm not staying with you. And you're not going to keep me because you're telling me that you're pregnant. They may even decide not to keep the child or may even give it up for adoption or decide to co-parent. But, wow. <laughs> Woo! All right, Taurus. Oh, okay. So maybe the reason they haven't come forward is because this person that's codependent on this masculine lets him cheat and has an open relationship with him. So that could be a reason they're holding back from coming forward to this Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Um, yeah, so it looks like there might be a delay of why this person maybe hasn't come forward yet. Okay, Taurus, if you are this masculine, why you're not coming forward, maybe because of this third party claiming they're pregnant, maybe you're going to do a DNA test to find out if it's truly your child. Because sometimes, if it's an open relationship, that doesn't mean that that person isn't fooling around too, right? So, wow. Okay. Yeah, they're not available. So this masculine that's here um, maybe ends up winning the lottery or maybe this Queen of Pentacles does. So, could be why she is in a good spot now. So, wow. <laughs> And if you're this Queen of Pentacles, whatever you started is going to do well. And if you end up winning the lottery, this is really going to help propel you forward into stability here. But I don't feel like you're going to be with anyone that is not healed, not single or available. And... I don't feel like you're going to have somebody that is going to cheat on you. So I don't feel like that's what you're about if you're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. This is a lot of financial success. 
All right, Taurus, you are whoever you are in this reading, whoever you resonate with, whether that's the feminine or the masculine, but this is somebody from the past life. So it could have been this lifetime. Maybe you've run into this person and never had anything come of anything like nothing ever became romantic or maybe you tried once or twice and it never worked out maybe it was always friend zoned okay and that could be because he's married to someone else or is in another commitment and if things go sideways maybe that is why he's always kept you on the loop or maybe he does really have a lot of love for you and maybe you never gave him the chance to really come in for you. So, I mean, take it how it resonates. That's just kind of some of the things I'm feeling here. So, but in any case, Taurus, that's your reading. So please like, share, or, and subscribe, not and, or not or, and, <laughs> yes, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, give me that thumbs up if you like my reading, and definitely, um, if you want to donate, there is a PayPal, uh, PayPal account in the description box. I need to slow down. My words are just going too fast. <laughs> And yeah, stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right, Lita.